authentic. All right, guys, we were only gonna do one video, but so we, we brought these pre-kits with us off a computer cut. Like I said, it doesn't always fit perfectly. So what happened on our driver's side window is our edge just was way off, too way off. You know, some tenors might say, okay, let's throw it away. You know, that piece is ruined. I try to save the piece. If there's nothing wrong with it, I trim off the top edge and then I give it a little smack and it scoots down. So I saved the passenger window so we can show you how to fix that issue if you're out on a mobile job and you don't want to waste your film. Nobody wants to waste their film. We want to be efficient as we can. So uh, my good fella, Ivan, he has already prepped this window. I'm just going to you know, put some water here and there, keep my dust down. Again, we don't want any dust in here. That would call for a redo for sure. Wet the top of my pattern. Got a little bit of wind on my weight. Okay, there you go, we're good. I like a straight edge here. I'm gonna spray down and out. So there's something on here we want it to get off. That's our closest exit here. Down and out. All right. I don't like to wet the window. I've seen tinners do that. I've tried it. It's not for me. So here we got a little pitch of wind. So I'm gonna wait for that to die before I pop this up. We don't want it to cling together or get like a little crease or anything. Here we go. I'm gonna do just like installing a regular piece of tint that actually fits the window. I'm gonna line up this edge and we're gonna slide it back there, okay? Give it a little squish. If you got enough soapy water, that's gonna work out. So see what I mean by our top edge is way off. Computer cut did a crappy job. We got a light gap over here. This does just not work. So what I'm gonna do is try to get this. You know, I wanna cut the least amount of film possible. So um, and this is another reason why you should leave a space up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with it right here. Even though there's a, there's a light gap, we're gonna move that around. I'm gonna get out my dot knife. It's my favorite knife. Ask anybody, I get really upset if I lose it. Break a blade, We've got a clean blade, nice and sharp. I'm gonna rest my blade on the top edge of the glass and firmly just keep it going. So we slipped up here because we shorted ourselves a little bit on some film. All right, so getting back there without damaging the customer's seal here is a little tricky, okay? So what I'm gonna do is just use my finger as a guide and then I'm gonna cut it in an upward motion. Usually it works, but it's not. Okay, so use your tool. Should have a white card in here. And we are golden with the white card. Because we don't want a rugged edge. All right, and then I'm gonna clean up this edge. I'm gonna give it one more sweep through. We want a clean, clean cut right there. It's not very clean, so see how I just smooth that out. Okay, so we still got some tint tucked back in here. So what we're gonna do is adjust the pattern to scoot it over. So we can make sure we get that corner cut real smooth, just like the rest of the top edge. Um, I want to remove some of the stuff on the outside. This little piece is a tent. Funny thing is, guys, these little pieces are great if you want someone to think that their windshield is broken. You just stick this thing right there. And when you look from the inside, it looks like there's a crack in the window. It might, might be a little bit too curly. Okay, so my tent is actually stuck. So we're gonna have to wet it down a little bit. You wanna be careful on this top edge because you don't want the dirt falling from your top seal here. And you don't wanna crease this pretty little baby. So here we go. Feels like when I'm trying to be careful, I start getting shaky. Okay, so here we go. We're just gonna throw a little bit of soap in there. Soapy water. That way we can move this bad boy around nice and smooth. So I like to give it a good smack. So over here, there we go. All right, still got a light, light gap, so I'm gonna squish it in there a little bit more. I'm gonna take this bad boy up. Now I'm giving myself a light gap over here so I can get my, my dot knife in there. All right, now we're cooking with apple butter, friends. All right, so we wanna to try to get this micro border going on. 
I think that's about as good as we're gonna get with this little micro border. Here we got a little piece of tint stuck under here from that edge. That's why I said you gotta be real careful. You want your edge to be as flat as it can be, okay? And as micro as it can be. You wanna use the right tool. <laughs> so here we go. Got a little bit of a issue right there. Okay. Let's that issue in. Oh, now we're screwed. Drop the, the tool on the ground. All right, so when that happens out here, you really wanna make sure you got a clean tool, okay? I mean, look at this floor, it's nasty. It's a brand new floor too. So, okay, we're good. All right, top edge down. All right, I'm gonna use a little bit firmer tool. I have no idea what this thing's called. I just call it my yellow triangle. All right, we are good to go, friends. We're gonna give it some power. That. Now, since we altered the pattern, I want to make sure it's going to fit correctly before I even go a step further. It's going to fit correctly. It doesn't appear like we're going to have any light gaps or anything like that. Extra water is the key to the, the heat and to out here in the rural areas when you're doing things like this. And that's still not a guarantee. You may get a few. They come back with some dust spots in them or, you know, something's not stuck down all the way because the dirt got underneath it and started rolling it. But I like to take my chances and challenge myself to a clean, rural tint job. And obviously take all the little steps that I can. Anybody can show you how to use computer cut and cut these out and try to do a good job. But it, it takes learning a few things about your skill, like what to do when you're in a situation or if you get a piece of dirt trapped under there or your pattern doesn't fit. You don't want to throw it on the floor. I mean, if you don't own your company, maybe you don't care, but I'm just saying I wouldn't do that. It's still usable. This is really good film from ASWF. We don't want to throw it away. So this customer is going to be really happy. It's actually the owner's wife at the body shop. So. Here we are, that's a finished job. Thank you for watching, please share and like.